I don't know about you guys, but I find it interesting to know what people are buying. A homemaker, oh my gosh. Do I look good with things? You'd call this color like wine, like a wine velvet pant. All right, maybe I'm not empty inside. Mm. I'm not trying to be controversial. What? These are just so cute. <laughs> Long-lasting bubbles that gently cleanse. She looks nice. It's like a hit on free speech. Well, I realized that I did not film my intro and I don't know what is going on. Like, Jesus. Let me just check in with you guys. How, how are you guys doing? Like, how are you doing? I feel like a scatterbrain Barbie doll. Empty inside. Or maybe I'm not empty inside, but you know. I feel stressed and pressed. I don't know why, oh my gosh. But um, hi. I hope you guys are doing well. I did not film my intro as I thought. So this is my attempt to film an intro to say hi. My hair is freshly done and I decided to try some bangs. Do I look good with bangs? Do I look good with bangs? I was trying out these bangs. I think they look cute. I'm loving my hair. Now my hair is looking healthy and shiny and cute, but now I need to work on length retention, shrinkage, because my hair has just shrunk on like majorly since I just did it. And I'm just loving my hair right now. Fresh wash, fresh everything. Fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> Yeah, everything's fresh and I'm just really loving it. I just wanted to check in and say hi. Welcome to my channel. My name is Saudia. That's S-A-U-D-I-A, -E, just like the country Saudi Arabia. You know, I'm gonna give you a little haul in this video because the girl has been shopping, okay? Not a lot, very intentionally because I'm not really one for consumerism and capitalism, but the fact of the matter is that I do need things and I do shop as sustainable as I can as a natural, organic, vegan gal. And I try to, especially products that touch my skin and go inside my body, I try to keep it organic and as natural as possible. So we're gonna head into a little haul in a minute, but I just wanted to check in with you guys to say, hi, how are you doing? I am doing well. I cannot complain. Things are going well for me. I hope things are going well for you. The holidays are coming up. We're gonna be having lots of fun, lots of gift giving, lots of gift receiving. I am not one for Christmas, but I'm one for gifts. So. <laughs> Have some exciting videos coming out and I just want you guys to stay clear on those because I'm really being consistent this year into next year I'm not really one for like vlogmas but I'm going to be pushing out content every week yeah I'm gonna be doing my thing so subscribe if you're not already subscribed my name is Saudia I make a lifestyle content on this channel I share my life I'm sharing my life right now and I do sit down really serious educational videos as well so stay tuned for those because those are going to be coming i do love fashion and beauty content as well so i will be making fashion and beauty content as well as i really like sit down videos where i share my thoughts on specific topics so those are also coming to the channel yes yeah, stay tuned i try my very best to keep it real and keep it natural and keep it light and airy but sometimes things get serious and that that's just what it is and so I just pray that you guys just bear with me because you know it is what it is and honestly it's it's late that I'm starting this video it's about maybe like after 10 now so my brain is a little fried I ain't gonna lie I've been doing some admin stuff I've been getting beauty care done I've been at it all day since like I don't know five or so so you know, I'm trying to push until like 12, so yeah. The haul will be possibly after this, but just before we get into the haul, I just want to say that this is not really a channel or like, bye, 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 bye. I just happen to buy things and I save them to show to you guys. It's just me sharing what I'm 
doing since this is a lifestyle channel i'm sharing my life little bits of my life and parts that i decide to share anything that i don't share on here aren't meant to be shared on here you know what i mean so i don't know i feel like i'm rambling on a little bit but you know that's me sometimes but i'm wearing my favorite lipstick which is groupie from lancome and my fenty clear gloss today and a color icon lip liner or eyeliner and i'm telling you i am feeling myself okay i'm feeling myself i feel so pretty and so cute after my hair is like freshly done even though i kind of look like a pea head now that my hair has shrunken so much but you know over the next couple of days when it has gotten a little like worn in it's going to look delicious on me yeah i really i'm loving my makeup today as well just like everything about my face makeup is just looking so good i'm wearing little like corner lashes just to extend my eye view a little bit and i i just i just love everything about my look today from my outfit this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this top from boohoo i believe this was from boohoo and i'm wearing some bell bottom velvet like you'd call this color like wine like a wine velvet pant and i'm loving my whole look today i feel cute i feel cute i, I do i feel cute i feel cute okay so i do want to bring like you know more like intellectual content to my channel but i'm like i'm just like trying to brainstorm like things that i'm really interested in talking about you know what i mean there are some topics that i'm interested in talking about but i haven't done my research so you know when you're talking about like things that matter in the world you really want to come good with your information and your sources because i feel like that's important when you're doing like a thesis type video Video, you know so I definitely want to bring those kind of contents to my channel and I want to bring lots more fashion like content to my to my videos because I do I love fashion I love to play around with clothes and I love beauty that is skincare and makeup and I love like home stuff because I'm lit I'm a homebody okay I love to be at home I love to make a good home I really like cooking and cleaning and organizing and decorating that kind of stuff really when your home feels like up to par and up to date like you clean out all your cupboards and you know your kitchen's clean your bathroom's clean your sheets are clean and good feeling that you get when you put on clean pajamas and you're in a clean bed and everything just feels good and nice i love those kind of things and it's just those little mundane things that are really like really true to my heart and i really want to share that as much as i can with you guys from my tiny apartment okay i'm really trying to do my best at creating content that is exciting but still me because I'm not going to go out of my way to do anything extra I'm just not about that life you know what I mean I'm not the extra girl I'm fun naturally and I'm not going to try to do too much you know what I mean um, but I do want to be content that is engaging and exciting and that's natural and just like fun without giving up any parts of me or compromise my values or my dignity you know what I mean so just some random thoughts to share with you there I don't know how I got here but I'm here because earlier at the start of the video I felt like an empty-headed Barbie doll and I don't like to feel that way there's substance here um, you may not see it all the time but there's substance here oftentimes in the Americas you kind of feel as if you need to silence yourself because you can have an opinion an opinion an opinion and people will try to murder you to the floor because because of your opinion so I tried to be wise about what I share not that I'm scared or anything because I'm always going to say how I feel and I'm always going to share my opinion but I'm also very wise and when you know a thing to be true just just operate as if you do from my demographics most of the people that subscribe to my channel are Americans but a lot of my demographic is also from the Caribbean and India strangely I don't know why <laughs> but um, thank you <laughs> but a lot of my family and friends from back home and just like alumni from my college and stuff also watch me on here so those are not the kind of people that will try to murder you for your opinion but the Americans will okay that's just how they are programmed to behave they will kill somebody because they have a opinion don't ask me why it's like a hit on free speech because on one side of your mouth you're talking about oh free speech free speech free speech this and free speech free speech that but as somebody 
shares their opinion with you, you want to cancel them. Like I was saying, like as somebody share their opinions on a particular subject that is sensitive to some groups or some people, they are quick to try to cancel you. I'm uncancelable because I'm not, I'm not in fear of that in any way, shape or form, but I'm just trying to make a point. You know what I mean? So I'm wise about my energy and how I share my energy and how I share things on this platform and all other platforms that try to keep it fun or informative or educational but I will be tackling some subjects later on in my YouTube career because I am gonna come with very much so content that could be deemed as controversial I'm not trying to be controversial but I am going to do those very topics that nobody wants to talk about further on in my YouTube career I'm just trying to play around and kind of like like figure out my style what I like and try to just have some synergy with YouTube and right now I'm literally just creating some lifestyle videos just to be consistent and to share parts of my life that I want to share the main goal of this channel is to be an educational channel and to to share my life and to share my thoughts and my feelings about things important things and things that aren't so important but um yeah look out for those videos because they will be coming trust me there is this one video that I am thinking about right now in my mind that I definitely want to do lots of like research before I post that before I start even filming because it's very touchy-feely it's like quote-unquote sensitive at least sensitive to the Americans but what can I say it's something that I've always wanted to talk about and I've been wanting to talk about for a while so I'm going to talk about it I'm just trying to find the best angle because some angles are not for me I mean okay not with double chin yeah we don't need that in our life whoa yeah i'm not gonna do the double chin situation because it's just not for me oh that's a good angle right there look at her she's cute she looks nice <laughs> So I'm babbling on, but this is what I do, a babble, just a little bit, you know. Um, so I'm gonna send you guys off to the clip in the kitchen where I do my Target unboxing. I don't know about you guys, but I find it interesting to know what people are buying, how people are spending their money. I like to watch what people are buying because I get put on to new products from house care stuff to beauty things to just clothing items, electronics and others, etc. But I find it interesting to see what people are buying and like I said, I do shop responsibly and I do shop intentionally and I'm not some kind of consumerist capital. This is not somewhere where you're going to, I'm just gonna be buying random stuff. Everything that I buy, I actually use and if I don't use it, I normally donate it or reuse it, upcycle it, make something good of it. And I love beauty, care, and things of that nature. But however, I was on my morning walk and I decided to pop into Target because I needed some things and I also got an Amazon package so I wanted to share that with you guys I also went to Ralph to pick up something so you will you guys will see what I'm gonna do by the way I just got my hair done and I decided to do bangs how are my bangs because oh my gosh I think these are just so cute I feel so cute yeah so honestly I do feel a little anxious I feel pressed for time my hair has been getting done all day it feels like from washing to drying under the dryer to like combing and twisting and it's just been like a very hectic day and I feel like half of my day has been spent just like on self-care yet my nails still look like this so those are getting done maybe on Saturday and and get ready to do this very special thing that I like to do for myself like weekly so you guys are gonna get a little bit of that so from my Target haul I'm gonna start with my beauty care stuff 
I picked up this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with your Epsom salt. It says it has vitamins A, B, and C, and it has organic kale, spinach, blue spirulina, acai, berries to help moisturize the skin. It also has essential oils to vitalize the mind, long-lasting bubbles that gently cleanse. Well, I'm just looking for a big size of like shower gel that's going to make me feel soothed and clean and just something to invigorate me in the shower and like a big thing of it that lasts. I've tried the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath before, not in my home, but um, it was really good and I liked the scent and I was looking for a very natural scent like eucalyptus or lavender or peppermint and eucalyptus or something and I found this and I thought I would definitely try it. As you know, I like Dr. Teal's products and this is like infused with organic um, superfoods and essential oils. Oh, this smells delicious. I could even drop some essential oils in there because I have an SBA essential oil collection, honey. So I got that for the winter months, just something nice for myself. And then I also picked up their Epsom salt body scrub. It says it exfoliates and renews with eucalyptus and spearmint. And I picked this up because I've been wanting to try their exfoliating body scrub, as well as I wanted to pick up a tub that I can also also create my own body scrub in after it's complete because all I would have to do is take off this and the packaging and just create my own make a makeshift label or just no label at all because I've been wanting to try making my own body scrub at home and this black goes with the aesthetic of my bathroom so I'm really excited about that I got some of their exfoliating cotton rounds I use these ones I love these ones because it has an exfoliating side and a soft side for like under your eyes and your lids just to not be tugging and like adding too much pressure to that side of your eyes i also got two of these color icon coal eyeliner sorry about that they wanted to drop this one is in the color Cinema Brown now, or is a color maroon comfortant. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna use these on my eyes. I'm actually gonna use these on my lips. I'm actually using one on my lip right now. I bought one of these maybe like a week or two ago and to test it out on my lips to see if I would like it. And I love that it's cool tone and it's really affordable. This is only 99 cents. And I like how it works on my lips. So I pick up two of those. Then I got some Dawn Dish Soap, the squeezy too, because I thought that would be so like it's so like useful i normally like i mix my dish soap with water so i will definitely pour this into another container and then use this on top of the sink just to mix with water and to easily just squeeze instead of like opening pouring opening pouring so i mean i know this isn't for a eco-friendly queen and like a natural babe and a vegan girl i know this is not the most like eco-friendly like dish soap but what I like about Dawn is that it's multi-purpose. I can use this on some of my shoes. I can use this in the laundry. I just like the strength of it and up until I find something that I'm very much comfortable with um, transitioning to, I think I'm going to stick with this because a lot of the eco-friendly soaps that is on the market, I don't find that they have like that added strength to be multi-purpose, you know what I mean? So up until I find something that I'm very much like go hard for, I'm just going to stick with this. And, try, and continue to try out others. Um, so I got that, and then I got some egg replacer, and I got some almond flour because I was out, so you can probably tell what I'm gonna do for myself tonight. <laughs> and then I know this isn't like keto per se, because it's like 17 grams like carbs, but I was out for like five, six hours. I couldn't find anything keto, girl, that I could just stick in my mouth and I just decided to pick this up. This is vegan. It's dates, cashew, chocolate chips, and sea salt. All organic stuff. It's just that I, I don't think I'm supposed to be having dates on keto, uh, but it's, it's okay. It was just something to pick up. I may just put these at the top so that I don't like have any more, but girl, I, I was dying. I was after a workout and whew, I needed something to put in my body, so I'm not gonna kill myself 
else. I'm gonna have something. I'm not gonna die. So that was that. I dropped into Ralph's and picked up some butter. You guys know what I'm doing tonight. It's going down on the DL tonight. And then I got a package from Amazon today. And I think I know what's in here because I only ordered one thing. Oh, I ordered two things, but only one thing. So from everything that I got, can you tell what I'm doing for myself tonight? Because this is like my monk fruit sweetener of choice. In this you get 24 ounces, which is about one and a half pound of monk fruit and erythritol, which are like keto friendly sweeteners. So by the looks of it, it looks like I'm gonna make a cake. And if you thought I was gonna make a cake, yes I am. I'm going to try to make a keto friendly vanilla cake and I really wanted to get some white keto chocolate um, just to add some like level of sweetness but the chocolates that were in store had additional sugar to them and some of them also had whole milk or some kind of milk type thing and not like plant-based milk like cow's milk so I was very reluctant to pick up anything from the store and then Amazon when I did find something that was like keto friendly it was gonna take days and I want to make my cake tonight okay so I decided to test out my little recipe tonight and then possibly I could get the white chocolate that I want and retry it now this is the first time that I'm gonna make this recipe so I don't know how it's going to turn out but at least this is a good time to test it out and then the next time when I try it with white chocolate I should be able to like master the recipe just a little bit better so I'm going to put my stuff away and then I'm gonna meet you guys here here again to make this delicious cake so I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs> I wanted to talk about my experience at Target it was very unpleasant for me I went into Target knowing and feeling very confident that I was going to be price matched for a specific item that I've bought at Target before and that was price match and I think it's important to talk about things like this because these corporations need to know how the consumer feels right so I don't know if I've mentioned it on this channel but I do have the zero water filter now let me tell you none of these water filters are sustainable like you have to constantly keep buying things to just maintain them like I'm yet to find a filtration system that really gives clean good mineralized water that is healthy and good for you and just like you just buy something one time you know they put chemicals in the water just so that you continue to try to filter it buying different products and stuff and I've, I've gone through Brita I've gone through like different chemicals and stuff and I got to the like zero water because of where I'm at right now my apartment set up all that and I thought the zero water filter was a good thing to try and so far I've been loving it but I don't love the part that I have to constantly be buying like filters it's like some of it's made of plastic and it's just like it's not sustainable you know what I mean but anyways I went there to get the two pack of the water filter replacements and the first time I went there to get it like price match to a seller on Amazon the girl just like rang it up for me she didn't really ask any questions it was easy she just rang me up she didn't really ask any questions she made it easy for me and she made it very pleasant and I was like yeah Target yes price matching works perfect so this time I went to Target to get the stuff that you've seen and to get the filter so that I can have some water because I haven't had water in a while because I just can't trust the LA water you know and this guy tells me oh you have to find a seller on Amazon that ships from Amazon blah 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 and I'm just like the f is this like the first time I came here no problem what what is this like if you're gonna say you're price matching something just price match across the board you know what I mean you don't have to be doing the most you're making Making it unpleasant for people because I bought the filter and my bill came up to like 80 plus dollars just the few things that you see me pick up plus the filter right and then I realized that you know what I don't feel good about this because the first time I came here no questions were asked I got what I got you said price match easy peasy lemon squeezy now this guy just made it very unpleasant for me I had to stand there people were behind me waiting in line and look for a seller that's shipped from Amazon and it's just like why if you're price matching just price match to anything as long as it's the same item like why you have to do all that it's just like it makes it very unpleasant for the customer and it makes me not want to 
go into Target anymore. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that I won't go into Target again, but I prefer just not buy that because I, I don't feel good about buying that there and just wait the couple of days that it was gonna take for Amazon to deliver my filters to me. And then it's just like, well, you missed out on money that you could have gotten. You missed out on that sale, I feel. Because it's just like, why are you gonna make it on? If people continue to feel unpleasant in these situations, they're just gonna altogether not want to, to go in store and buy they'll probably just buy it on Amazon where they don't have to deal with that and it's probably gonna be cheaper. And you continue to miss out on sales like that. So like make it easy because people have options these days. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's always good to go in store and buy things because that kind of like sensation has been lost to like online shopping a little bit. So I do like to go in store and get certain things, but it's just like, why when I go in store, you're making it unpleasant for me? You know what I mean? Like, what was that? I don't care if that's the policy, I don't care. Like, if you're gonna say you're gonna price match for ease and comfort of the customers, the cost you're like, Target, you're not really missing out on a few dollars. In the grand scheme of things, like that should not be like a main focus. What should be the focus is that you're getting that sale versus them buying it on Amazon. Because anything that's sold at Target, trust me, it's on Amazon. And people don't have to leave their houses. You know what I mean? So it's just like make the experience as comfortable and as at ease for people. Because people like me, I get fed up real quick. And it was such an aggravating situation for me because the guy was not even pleasant about it either you know what I mean he made me feel very aggressive and I held my composure but I felt I felt the aggression from him it was not like an aggression it's that subtle like unspoken aggression that you have to deal with with people you know what I mean that subliminal aggression and I felt it and I literally was giving it back so I, I, I don't like that experience at all and I feel like Target needs to do better. Hey guys, I am back in my kitchen. I am gonna make a cake. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I was going to make a cake earlier. I forgot because I took a little break. But I'm trying to make a keto vanilla cake. So I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and I've never made this before. I've just made my double chocolate muffins with the same ingredients. So I thought why not just remove the chocolate and make a vanilla cake because I'm just feeling for a vanilla cake with some keto like icing. So I'm going to attempt at making a vanilla cake. Now I'm not gonna put this on my Instagram page because I'm testing out this recipe first because I originally wanted to add white chocolate in there but I could not find a keto-centric white chocolate that could be shipped to me, so that would be today. So I'm just going to wing it and I'm gonna take you guys along the journey with me because Okay, so I'm gonna take my shrunken bangs and I'm gonna pop you guys on a tripod, okay? Oh, before I pop you on a tripod, let me share with you all the ingredients that I'm working with so far. So, over here I've got all my ingredients tucked away. I've got some egg replace. I know I've never used this before, but I do like this brand, Bob's Red Mill, and their stuff is normally non-GMO and organic, so I'm just trying this today. I've got almond flour from the same brand. I've got some coconut flour. This one's almost out, but I got a bag up. I got my monk food sweetener that I unpacked with you guys earlier. I've got some baking soda. This one's running out. The, the one at the bottom is brand new. Baking powder, baking soda, and then I got some vanilla. Now again about vanilla, I don't know if I mentioned this last year, but it's best to get vanilla now, especially if you live in the U.S. because vanilla is going to get extremely expensive in the next couple of months because it's going to be like such a product that people are going to want to buy and are going to want a lot of so if you can get your hands on vanilla right now get it while it is still affordable because as you know and as we all know everything is increasing in price but your paychecks aren't increasing so I don't know where they're expecting you to get all this money to buy all these things when they have hiked up the price on almost everything I mean things in store things on Amazon things just everything is increasing in price but I'm not going to ramble on about it um, it's a bit upsetting but I'm going to try to keep this as positive and as 
as pleasant as possible. So I'm gonna pop you on a tripod and then I'm going to just share with you what I'm going to do for this. Oh, and I also have butter. Okay, so let's try this recipe. Okay guys, so this should not be like a hard cake to make. It's like pretty simple. We all have probably seen or watched a vanilla cake be made before, so it's nothing complicated. It's just like getting the ingredients for the specific diet that you have. So I've added some butter to the ingredient list. I'm going to just put a stick of butter in here. This is plant-based butter. Like I said, keto is high fat, butter is high fat. It's just basically lots of different oils kind of like blend it together and made into a butter. So I'm just adding that. So like any other cake, I'm going to add sugar. But instead of adding regular sugar, I'm going to add this powdered monk fruit sweetener, which is zero calorie. I'm going to use this scooper. This is about an ounce, I'm thinking. And I'm gonna start off with about three scoops of that. And we're just going to try to emulsify that together, get it moving. And because this is like a powdered sugar, it shouldn't take too long before everything dissolves really nicely. I'm really happy about that because it makes baking very easy and very quick. You don't have to be trying to dissolve sugar into butter when you start with a powdered product. So I'm just doing that. And look at that. That's already, it's flexible for lack of a better word. So now that that's together, I'm going to go ahead and get my egg replacer ready. It says one tablespoon egg replacer to two teaspoon of water and let it sit until it thickens. So I'm just gonna use a ramekin. This is a tablespoon. A teaspoon would be a smaller one. Let me show you. Just in case nobody knows the difference. This is a tablespoon, this is a teaspoon. You see the differences in size? So it calls for a two tablespoon of this egg replacer. I've never used this egg replacer before and I hope it does not, I hope it does with me. So I'm thinking just to it like that and it did not specify if you should use hot or cold water but because I've worked with egg replacers before and it calls for warm water I heated up a little bit of water guys the cover of my kettle like fell and broke like a couple days ago I'm so upset because now I've got to replace it how upsetting you have to mix this out and wait for it to thicken I guess but this is already thickening this looks like it needs more water to be honest. That was thick on me. That was thick gums. Oh. I think it's best to try to use a fork to do this. A fork just works so much better. And then let's try the fork. Okay. This egg replacer does not look good so far. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks weird. It looks a little clumpy. I was very hesitant to get this one, but the one that I originally used, I just couldn't find it in store anywhere. And I checked like three store and it was so expensive on Amazon. I was like, and then they sell more than one of it. I couldn't find any single one. It's just like, I don't need three containers of egg replacer just sitting down. Okay, so my egg replacer is looking like this. It's a little clumpy, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways because I don't really have a choice. It says to sit for a minute, but this is already thick. I'm just gonna add that to my bowl. I'm just gonna try to combine these together. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Look at that. Not too bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Okay, so we've got our like wet ingredients going and this is not looking bad. This is actually looking reasonable. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to stress it too much. I'm going to taste it to see what the consistency is. Not bad. I could add some more um, milk fruit sweetener, but let's go ahead and add some of this vanilla. Just gonna eyeball it because I want it to be very vanilla-y. And this is real pure vanilla extract. So what I like with this is that it's not taking a long time to to like dissolve things, and you can literally do this with like one of these like silicone paddles. That's tasting good, but I'm going to go ahead and add another ounce of this monk fruit sweetener. Stick that in there, maybe another one. It is low calorie, so why not just go for it? Normally baking, typically I would take out my mixer, but I'm just not feeling like that. I just want to get it over. 
over with and just carry on with the day. I honestly don't feel like it's going to be a problem. I think it's going to be just all right. All right, I'm going to add just a pinch of baking powder. Just a pinch, not too much. I'm just gonna throw that in there. We're going to add some baking powder. I want it to rise, so I'm gonna do the most on that. And I'm going to even add a little bit more of a fresh set of baking powder, just so that it rises but that much. So all in all, I would say one tablespoon of baking powder, maybe two that I used in here. Sometimes it's good to just experiment with things, test out a recipe, don't overthink it, don't do too much, you know, just ebb and flow, man, ebb and flow. Okay, so this is looking, let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, girl, that is sweet. Sweeter than I intended, but we're gonna keep it like that. Now I'm gonna add all my flour to this. I'm going to add almond flour, and I'm gonna add coconut flour. So I'm gonna do, this is a lot. This is a one pound bag. I'm gonna do maybe like a quarter pound of this. That's about three ounces, four ounces, five ounces. And then I have about two whole scoops in here. I'm just gonna empty that in there. And we're just gonna mix that in. And if the batter gets Pumpy, then I'll add some of this coconut milk just to loosen it up. But to be honest, it should be all right because this is the same kind of recipe that I used to make my double chocolate muffins and they came out all right. So like I anticipated, things would get just a little bit clumpy. So I'm just gonna add some coconut milk to that to loosen it up and to get it at the consistency that I want it to be. Now I've seen a few recipes Mm, that's really good. I've seen a couple recipes online of people making their keto versions of vanilla cake. Everybody's cake basically kind of have the same ingredients as mine and it looked and turned out well. Of course, some people have to work on the cake things and add extra stuff to the cake, but I'm just gonna make this very simple, very easy, and hopefully it just turns out good. I just want to have dessert with my dinners in the evening and we just test it out, see if it works if it works great if it doesn't oh well I'll try and I'll keep trying until it is perfection I'm just gonna add a little bit more vanilla because I want it to be extremely vanilla -y. at this point I'm finishing my vanilla extract on this cake I ain't gonna lie to you it is sweet too sweet for my liking but what can a girl do love got a sweet tooth yeah you know I've got a sweet tooth Okay, so I think that's it. This is the consistency that it has currently. Now I could add more milk to it to make it a little bit more like spread out, but I think that's just gonna cause it to take a longer time to bake. And I want it to be ready in like 30 minutes tops. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. This is like a non-stick pan. It has really been good to me when it comes to non-sticking. I've always used butter with it, but I don't know if you can see that. You don't really have to use butter with it. But just for the sake of the video, I'm going to add a little bit of butter just so that, just so that people get that right. I'm just gonna take a piece of parchment paper and spread out this butter all around. That should be good. And now I'm just gonna put my batter into this. And then hopefully, we can hope for the best that this comes out in one piece. <laughs> uh, we can hope, we can hope, a girl can hope. Okay, so this is what our cake is looking like so far. I'm going to stick this in the oven and hope for the best. That's all I can do, really. Okay, guys, so this is what our cake is looking like. I already tested it. It has cooked all the way through. And I'm gonna let this cool down and maybe tomorrow I'll make some icing for it or I just have it just like that. But I really can't wait to try this and taste it. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, good morning. It is the following day of me trying to make this cake. And I just wanted to show you guys how I make a simple icing for it and 
how I just finish this off and prep it for daily desserts after my meals um, because during this keto process I find that desserts is the best part of meals because it satiates you and holds you until the other day especially because I am intermittent fasting so I'm going to show you guys what the cake currently looks like and then we're gonna get into creating the icing putting the cake onto a cake stand and kind of like giving it a little juice and decoration a little presentation and um, I don't know I'm always going into different accents and voices it's just life of an actress who isn't working <sighs> Don't murder me. Okay, so this is what the cake is currently looking like. That is from me testing out how well it's cooked. Now, it's been out all night. It's really cold right now, but it has cooled down a tremendous lot. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pop this onto a cake stand, and then we're going to make some icing for this. So give me one second. Okay, so I have my cake stand here. I've got a plate big enough to cover the cake like so and I'm gonna just invert the cake and I'm just gonna tap it a little and hope that it just falls out now I think this has hardened quite a bit because in the kitchen is currently very cold let's try that again it almost feels like it was in the freezer or the fridge and it, it wasn't in any freezer or fridge Okay, perfect. Great. Amazing. So now that our cake is kind of like, in, ooh, I kind of like it like this. Like, because the bottom part doesn't look so pretty. So I was going to flip it over the other way now, but seeing how it is looking like this, and because the window is open, so the kitchen's a little bit cold and it's cold outside. I know they tell you that it's always warm in LA. That's a lie. That's why I have a heater in my apartment. But since it's so hard, I'm just gonna slide it onto here because it feels like it was in the fridge, honey. So now that that's done, I'm just going to cover that. And this cake stand is a silicone cake stand. I got it on Amazon. And I'm not sure, I think it's like a 12 inch. And it's very lightweight. So we're just gonna put that over in the corner there. Now I have a bowl here. I have some butter. Now I am very reluctant to use all of this butter, but I don't know, I may just use all of it. Cause I want it to spread all over the cake. So, okay, let's let's go with all the butter. So we're using one stick of plant-based butter. Let me get all of that off there. And I think I'm also going to insert this clip into my other cake recipe video that I'm going to come out with in a couple of weeks or so. So this consistency of butter is the perfect temperature that you want to have to make like a simple icing. And icing is basically butter and powdered sugar. Now I'm not going to use regular powdered sugar even though I do have it in the house because I'm currently on a keto diet or ketogenic diet. So I'm going to use a powdered sugar replacement sweetener. It is monk fruit with erythritol and it basically just looks like this. So instead of using powdered sugar, I'm going to use the sugar. If you have powdered sugar at home, please go ahead and use that. It's basically the same technique, just a different kind of sweetener. So let's go ahead and make this thing. We grab a scooper. So this scooper is about an ounce. I'm going to put an ounce in here. I'm gonna put about three ounces of this scooper. Now, if you are working with powdered sugar, I suggest you use a sieve and sieve a tablespoon, mix, sieve another tablespoon, mix until you get to the consistency that you want. I don't recommend just pouring powdered sugar into your butter mixture because you don't want it to get clumpy. You want to take your time with this. Now, this erythritol and monk fruit mixture is a different story. It kind of, it's very malleable and it really mixes in very quickly and it's extremely sweet if you use a lot. So it's not the same consistency and I'm not going to use it in the same way that I I use powdered sugar. So, so far I have a consistency like this and you see how fast that was and very easy and very simple. I'm just gonna give that a taste. 
Wow. Oof. That is really good. To be honest, I don't need a lot more sugar in this, but because my butter is very evident, one more scoop of this monk fruit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna mix that in. And like I said, this is extremely malleable. Now I have a tip, like if you are making your icing and you find that you've added way too much sugar to it, all you need to do is add some plant-based milk or any kind of milk that you use, preferably plant-based though, but do you boo. <laughs> You do you, okay? No judgments here. And add the milk sparingly, please. Okay. Add a tablespoon or a teaspoon at a time and don't pour milk into your icing because remember, you're working with butter and you're working with powdered sugar. They can easily go either way, left or south, and you wanna keep the consistency of your thing like consistent with icing texture. So take your time, build it up. Oftentimes when you're working with powdered sugar, you really have to use a lot and that's one of things that I don't like about powdered sugar is that you have to use so much just to get to like a really good ice and consistency but it's okay it's fine just take your time with it and continue to use that sieve and sieve the powdered sugar in there mix it taste it see if it's the consistency that you want it to be and then continue on with that now I'm at my peak with this mom fruit sweetener I don't think I should add any more even though it's zero calories I'm happy with my dessert just being that good. Now I have some food coloring that I may play around with, I'm not sure. I'm going to add some of the icing onto here. Maybe it covers all of it, maybe it doesn't. I was mostly thinking to just add it onto the top and not worry too much about the sides because this is just my dessert. It's not like I have friends coming over for coffee or anything. So I'm going to take out my food coloring and maybe play around with it. Let's, let's see how that goes. Okay, so I have here the Wilton food coloring. I think this is okay for me to have as a vegan. I'm going to probably try to play around with the blue. There's four colors in here. There's a green, a red, and a yellow, as well as the blue that I showed you earlier. So we have those to play around with. Now to ice the cake, I would use something like this, like a paddle thing like this. I think this is technically an icing swarver rounder roux thing. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, <laughs> but I think it's specifically made for icing. So let's get this started. So I'm just going to oop, plop it on there and I'm just going to like, you know, kind of play around with it, kind of. And like I said, I'm just going to do the top and we're just going to, well, that's hard, but we're just going to try to cover the terrains of the top. You can always like move your thing around like that. Act like you're a professional like cake maker, baker. A homemaker, oh my gosh. Yeah, one of my goals and dreams in life is to be a mom and a homemaker. And I can't wait for that day. My kids are gonna love me. All the treats, all the good, delicious food I'm gonna make for them. And they're gonna love them some mommy. Mommy! Okay, so I have just about that much mixture left. I am gonna play around with some color. I'm going to try this blue one and it looks like that. So you get to like be very sparing with it. So I'm just gonna do like one or two drops because I'm looking for like a very light blue color and not something bright. So I'm gonna do that and then we're just gonna mix it in. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God, a nice little color contrast thingy going on. And I'm just gonna use that to get that off so that I can get it in here again. And so far we're looking like this which is very pretty. I like that. That's exactly the color I was looking for. And for me right now, it doesn't have to be mixed out so much that you can't see a streak or two because I think that the streaks add beauty to it, you know? So now I'm just going to scrape that off and I'm just gonna try to, should I do the edges with blue or should I just put the blue in the middle and just kind of like swirl it around? I am wondering. I do like how this looks. I think it looks great. I'm just gonna kind of like blend in the edges a little bit, kind of like get that little mixed in like kind of feel, you know? Kind of get it to, you know, look like it's one big and not two different icings. So a little blending effect, but still remaining rustic. So 
So I'm actually very happy with that. Everything is done very haphazardly and very like, it's not that serious. We're not in a bakery baking for other people. We're just at home testing and trying out recipes and seeing what works. And that's what it looks like. So that's it. I'm going to clean up the edges and then I'm gonna show you guys the end product of my cake and cut a slice and hopefully it tastes good. Okay guys, so this is what my keto vanilla cake looks like. It's got a little bit of icing on here. I can't wait to test this out and see how it's going to taste. Yeah, let's try it out. This is the perfect kind of cake to have for dessert after meals. But if you started your day late, and I don't know about you, but when I start my day late, I am just turned off by breakfast or anything like that but I normally eat at 12 because that's when my intermittent fasting ends but sometimes if I'm turned off by like eating I'll start eating at around 2 or 3 so I find that having a cup of tea and something sweet to just like you know like amp up your blood sugar I know that sounds bad but this is a zero calorie sweetener and a keto cake so it's a little bit more healthier and it's going to get your body to kick into that ketogenic state so I'm thinking this is a good like option for that to get your body into a state of like go instead of like go. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense, but I'm making sense to myself. So let's cut this and see what it tastes like, okay? So like I said, my kitchen is very cold right now. This cake, when I felt it earlier, it felt like it was in the freezer, honey. So I'm hoping that it tastes delicious. We're gonna find out right now. Butter to the side, and then it's me and you, baby. So this is what our cake is, boo. Well, don't go no way, girl. Why are you leaving me? This is what our cake is looking like. So, oh, she is coming apart. This is what our cake is looking like so far. Let's see. Girl, what? You lied. You lied to me. You lied to me. Oh no, come in my mouth, baby girl. <laughs> I'm not over exaggerating. This is really good. Mm. Mm. This is a good option for keto. And all the fats from the butter. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And it seems hard on the outside, but the inside is very soft and it just flakes off in your mouth. And not to be an expert or anything on keto, but remember, keto is not a low calorie diet. It is a low carb diet, which is why I added low carb flours like coconut flour, almond flour, that has a lot of fiber and high in fat. So just trying to reiterate that, but this is very good. Mm. I feel like I made too much of the icing. <laughs> I knew I should have just made half of that butter, but it's okay. <laughs> But this is really good. I didn't know that this cake was gonna come out like this, but I'm glad that it came out good. So I'm definitely gonna try this recipe again with white chocolate. Hopefully as soon as I finish this one. <laughs> so um, I have a few things to do. I've gotta edit a video that needs to be uploaded tomorrow. I wanted to do my little Catch Me Outside DIY project that we talked about in our last vlog. And I also have a little bit of admin stuff to do. So I have some water in my kettle about to brew. I'm gonna have some tea and finish my cake and I will We'll see how this day goes. Hopefully I see you guys today, if not today, maybe tomorrow, because I do have a lot going on. So I'll catch you guys soon.